property values make a jump. Inflation makes a jump. Interest rates also make a jump. Welcome to Mikey's monthly market update for March of 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into all that information right after this short break. Hi there, everybody. Mike Petrus here, your star realtor of Star and the Treasure Valley, back with another episode of Mikey's Monthly Market Updates for March of 2022. Now, if you are subscribed to this channel and you have seen these before, you do know what they are about. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. And this episode is designed to go ahead and break down what is happening right here in the real estate market, right in the Treasure Valley, or better known as Greater Boise, Idaho area. So let's go ahead and let's dive into that information and break it all down. All right, everybody. So let's dive into the data uh, like we normally do. Uh, but this time you're going to kind of see me cruise through it uh, a little bit quicker. I've gotten some uh, positive feedback from people saying that I could be pretty long winded in my explanations. Uh, but I like to be to give you all that particular information. But we'll go ahead and focus on that in my final thoughts uh, after I go ahead and present uh, this data to you. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with Ada County uh, as we normally do. And as I can say, holy jump. I mean, this really just kind of shot up. So that plateau that we saw uh, that started basically back in uh, May of 2021, uh, and you've noticed uh, back in the MMU of February 2022, we started ticking back up, but it really started ticking back up. And really, it's kind of due to more or less inflation and really no supply and demand. That is really the key in real estate as it comes down, everything is supply and demand. I mean, you can see right here in the median sold price, it shot up and you can see in the average sold price, which is your orange, orange line too as well, it shot up. So if we look at the six month breakdown of what happened here in Ada County, uh, you can see that, oh yeah, it definitely jumped up. I mean, we're looking at almost $50,000 gain in the average sold price. And if we're looking at the median price, which is the median home sold between uh, the very top value and the lowest value, boom, right in between, okay, where they were right in the middle of all the homes that sold, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, you're looking at a $40,000 jump that we've seen in the last six months. Uh, that's pretty significant. And especially this month really did kind of jump up. Now, again, as I mentioned, it's a supply and demand inflation related to as well. Uh, but you can see here our inventory is starting to tick up. Now we are going into uh, the seasons where people do want to start selling their homes. Uh, we still haven't seen really how uh, the the interest rates are going to affect the overall buyer demand. But for right now, the buyer demand has not changed, even though the interest rates have almost jumped up two points uh, since the beginning of 2022. If you'd like to know a little bit more about that, please check out Mikey's monthly mortgage update, which I came out with last month. And it kind of keeps you in tune as to what the Fed has in store for the rest of 2022 and early 2023. Uh, but please check out that video and I do got another one coming up. Uh, but again, you can see the inventory. It's just not keeping up again for the demand. And our demand is on the rise here again. Uh, of course, people are coming out. They they want to buy. And they especially now probably want to buy before the interest rates really kind of start maybe potentially getting out of control. Uh, just another kind of graph to kind of show this. Uh, you can see our demand has stayed you know, relatively kind of consistent uh, as we've gone through, Ada County's kind of tapered down maybe a little bit, and maybe that's due to high home prices. And again, we'll just have to see how interest rates affect that demand. Uh, but just another kind of way to view what's going on. If we look at the existing homes, uh, we can see, you know, the demand is still shooting up. We're going into hot season, everyone. So I kind of ex expect uh, the demand to stay good, all depending on what happens with the interest rates. Uh, and then uh, we can see our inventory is starting to creep up too as well. And again, we'll see how the uh, buyer demand is affected by the interest rates. Have I beaten that, de that dead horse yet? <laughs> when it comes to the interest rates and inflation. Uh, but the key that I'm just trying to point out here is again, uh, the demand is overwhelming the supply and hence why you're seeing the increase in the overall sales price and the overall median price in both counties. 
uh, new construction. Uh, they're getting you know a lot back to work here, uh, especially uh, now that the weather's kind of getting better, even though that really kind of doesn't affect it too much out here in the Treasure Valley. Uh, but the inventory is starting to kind of overcreep the demand and the new construction inventory, but our demand is still staying uh, relatively good across the board. But I did notice that in Ada and Canyon County, if you are looking in the new home uh, industry or the new for a new house, I did notice that they have raised their prices across the board. So pretty much all the major builders have raised their prices. And that's really to kind of combat inflation. Okay, what it's going to cost for their materials and, of course, getting their materials uh, broken supply chains, uh, which I've talked about plenty in uh, prior videos. Uh, one of the biggest things is the days on market have definitely kind of crashed down again here uh, because there is no supply and a high demand. People are coming in. They There's multiple offer situations returning to this. So again, buyers, if you were kind of like afraid of that uh, multiple offer situation and having to fight for a house, well, there's just not the inventory right now and the demand is there. So it is starting to return according to the days on market. So whatever is coming onto the market is selling. Okay, and if we look at the cancels expired, you can also see this too as well. Uh, our canceled, they're, they're selling. So whatever, not a lot of people are canceling right now. They're selling their homes. They're making the lateral move. They're trying to do it before the interest rates get um, potentially out of control. And again, please refer over to uh, the mortgage update so that you can see what the Fed has got going on. But whatever the key here in Ada County, and you'll see it in Canyon too as well, whatever's coming onto the market is selling because the demand is still here and there's really no inventory. Uh, to kind of snapshot this, uh, so the home sold is actually down a little bit, 11.3% a year over year as compared to our active listings, which is still jumping up. Uh, change year over year. And I expect to see that still change as uh, interest rates go up and maybe uh, the buyer demand comes down a little bit to this area. But again, the change in the days on market and the ultimate one there is the median sales price. Boom, we definitely made a change. So if you look at the mortgage up, or sorry, the, the market updates that I came out with in February as compared to uh, here in March, a definite jump. So let's go ahead and dive into Canyon County. Uh, the same thing here, you can see a significant jump in the average uh, sold price, and you can still see that significant jump in the median price. Okay, right over here too as well. Uh, so the equity is returning. Sellers, keep that in mind. Okay, and if we look at the six month snapshot too as well, you can definitely see it there, almost a 50,000 jump in the average sold price and basically a $30,000 jump price in the overall median. So equity is returning to this, and again, due to supply and demand. Look at the gray line. Again, our demand is still superseding what is available uh, for sale. It's just, honestly, we just don't have the inventory, but we're starting to see it tick up and we'll just have to pay attention again to the interest rates and what it could do to possible buyer demand. Um, Canyon County, of course, has, has the cheaper of the two homes for now or the cheaper of the median home price for now as compared to Ada County. So I can see the demand and you can see it if you're looking from 2019 to March of 2022, uh, you can see the demand kind of increasing overall in Canyon County. And again, it's just due to that. Okay, so um, do I see it maybe catching up in the future to Ada? It very well could. Um, but the demand is still staying really, really good in Canyon County and due to that. Uh, but again, our demand has shot up for Canyon County, which I expected. And our inventory, again, is still low, but it is creeping through. But you can kind of see the gap here in the existing home inventory. But one of the cool things that we got for Canyon County is that the builders, you know, the inventory is really kind of coming up. And you can see uh, the inventory is actually kind of superseding a little bit of what the demand is asking for. Uh, so, but again, I did see the new home builders jump up in price. So buyers, if you're out there, you're looking for a new home, uh, get in there. Get in there now. Get get uh, one of their houses because you're going to find probably some more inventory than you would in the existing market, as what the data is showing uh, in Canyon County. Days on market again, just like Ada County, really shot down. Whatever is going for sale is selling. Uh, so again, buyers that multiple offer situation is looking like it's starting a return uh, here to um, both counties, and then cancels expires. Of course. And cancels have jumped down. A lot of people are actually selling their homes. Um, they're making that lateral move again before uh, interest rates, you know, really start jumping up because uh, it makes sense for them. 
and it's just kind of working out that direction. Uh, looking at the market snapshot, again, uh, the home sold uh, is actually up a little bit uh, year over year uh, here in Ada County, and the active listings, of course, is up uh, year over year. Uh, again, interest rates beating that dead horse. Wow, I got to stop talking about that. We'll see what it does uh, due to the active listings and uh, what it does to the demand. Uh, and then again, of course, uh, the days on market have shot down. And of course, the median sales price overall really shot up. So let's go ahead and let's really dive this down in my final thoughts right after this. Well, welcome to the final thoughts section here of Mikey's monthly market update for March of 2022. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's break this down. Of course, we have seen some significant jumps here. Uh, again, as mentioned towards the beginning of this video, uh, and as you've seen throughout the data, uh, the average median price shot up in both Ada and Canyon County. Uh, inflation rates are on the rise, and so is the interest rates overall. So let's go ahead and let's start off with you buyers. Uh, what does this mean for you? This means now you're going to be paying more money for the house that you're going after. Plus, now you're going to be paying a higher interest rate uh, overall. Now, uh, I know a lot of uh, the reports that I've been hearing have been screaming recession coming up. Uh, but buyers, you got to remember, too, that this is not going to be the recession that we saw in 2008. Uh, 2008 was for total different reasons. And to really kind of break this down, just from my overall general knowledge, uh, anytime there's been a recession, you know, back in the 80s, uh, in the 90s, or early 2000s, before the 2008, uh, really either the real estate market, okay, uh, either flatlined in its prices or in sometimes ticked up. The 2008 crash was really for a whole nother set of circumstances and was really the only time uh, that a recession really significantly affected uh, what is what was happening in the real estate market to a very big level. Uh, but that was, again, for other reasons, including uh, just the fact that the mortgage industry really was not regulated and they were doing whatever they, they could. So it was basically greed and lack of regulation that resulted in the great recession that we saw ourselves uh, with that we saw back in 08. But if you look back in the 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s uh, during some of those recessionary periods, you saw quite the opposite. So I do not anticipate that to return and buyers keep that in mind. I wouldn't anticipate that to return either because again, uh, a lot of laws, rules got put into place over the mortgage industry to make sure something like that doesn't happen ever again. Uh, but what you are seeing right now, buyers, is you are seeing the overall uh, median price go up in both counties. Plus you're seeing the interest rates go up. Uh, I do and I do encourage you to watch my mortgage update side of this so that you can see what the Fed has in store for the rest of 2022 and early 2023. And I'll be coming out with another one because the Fed always seems to kind of change their mind in terms of what it is they want to do. But the facts are, again, just in summary, housing prices are going up. Uh, days on market are going down, which is just meaning that demand is still here, that you could possibly, we're possibly returning into that multiple offer situation, which is going to raise uh, home values even more. And inflation is raising, you know, the home prices even more. And then you're now looking at the overall interest rates too, that could be jumping up as significant as 0.5% every time the Fed meets, which is another six times this year. But again, that could change your mind. So buyers, this is your window. Get in and uh, please uh, feel free to give me a call if I can help you out with your shopping experience and uh, visit my website to go ahead and start that shopping experience too. Uh, you can visit my website at www yourstarrealtor.com. But please give me a call. Look forward to speaking with you. 208-715-7827. All right, sellers, let's go ahead and let's talk about you. Uh, right now, uh, this is actually kind of working in your favor. Uh, the median home prices are going up. Average sold prices are going up. Uh, if you uh, plan on staying in your house uh, for some time, that's a good thing for you uh, overall. Uh, but if you are planning on, you know, making a lateral move somewhere else, again, you have to, you know, think about the buyer's situation because you're going to be put in that same situation too as well. So you'd be fighting the interest rates and what the Fed has to do with it in order to combat inflation. So this could very well be a good time for you to sell. Uh, market's still, you know, hot. 
Uh, there's a lot of demand out there. Uh, you can get into multiple offer situations if you properly price your house uh, correctly, or maybe even a little under, under fair market value in order to really create that fever pitch and a lot of traffic through the door. Uh, do I think that this is returning back to the market that you can basically ask whatever you want and people are still going to come in and fight? That's not there yet. Uh, and I honestly don't know if it will be, uh, considering that you know the interest rates will eventually soften some of this buyer demand. And you can actually see it happening nationally on a national level. It's not happening here yet, uh, but eventually it's going to. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. This could be a really, really great time to sell. Renters, okay, let's go ahead and let's tackle you. Uh, rentals have gone up 1% just last month alone. Uh, you're seeing that your, your rental prices are going up because inflation okay, is, is on the rise and the interest rates are on the rise. So uh, really, you know, as inflation is going up, so is going to be your rental cost overall. So this is going to be a good time for you. If you have the means and you have everything set up, you want to jump into that market and buy uh, definitely do it. Get in there. Uh, why pay somebody else's equity when you could be making your own right now, especially if the market is going to be back on the rise due to supply and demand. Now, do I anticipate that supply to eventually kind of overcorrect? Uh, maybe the demand? Yes, I do. I still see a potential market correction in our future. Uh, but again, that's that's really kind of rolling the dice in terms of where inflation really kind of hits out. And at this point, the Fed seems to kind of be taking it a little bit easy, which is good for you uh, because even though it's gone up two points or almost two points uh, overall interest rate in the last uh, since the beginning of 2022, 2022 Overall, statistically, interest rates are still historically low. So renters don't really let that kind of chase you out either. So again, you're feeling the pressure in your rent prices. Um, if you have the means, you have the, there's different down uh, payment options uh, that, that fit your budget. So I definitely say uh, reach out to a lender today. Uh, feel free to give me a call if you'd like uh, me to go ahead and refer you to some great lenders out here in the Treasure Valley that can help guide you through the process so that we can get you into home ownership overall. Uh, so renters, uh, feel free to give me a call. You can reach me again, 208-715-7827. Look forward to speaking with you. All right, investors, you are the last stop. Um, investors, as you've noticed uh, when I was talking about the renters, rents are on the way up and they are going to continue to be on the way up due to inflation. Uh, I mean, last month alone, they rose 1%. Uh, so investors, this is a great time to get in oh, still while interest rates are historically low as well. I know they have shot up a couple of points. And if you are looking for an investment property and you do want to obtain a mortgage, uh, of course, it's going to cost you a little bit more in the interest rate. Uh, so get in there you know, while you can and uh, secure your investment properties uh, and benefit from them. Uh, also, if you are basically in the flip game, to basically put this in a nutshell, uh, there's really no inventory out there. So it is difficult times uh, for you that are uh, trying to go out there and do some flips. Uh, I do apologize about that. But if this market does soften because of the interest rates, um, the inventory might pop up and there might be some more um, opportunity for that. But it is a very tough market. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Again, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest right here in the Treasure Valley, please feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me at area code 208-715-STAR. Again, that's 208 208- 715-7827. And of course, if you're looking to begin your shopping experience right now, feel free to visit my website. Uh, you can see it at www.yourstarrealtor.com. Of course, click on that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so that you're constantly in tune with all the videos that I do come up with. And if you are thinking about making a relocation right here to the Treasure Valley, click in the description click on my free relocation guide so that way you're in the know before you decide to make the move. Again, thank you so much. I look forward to the day that we do speak. I look forward to the day that I do call you my neighbor. God bless. Until then, talk then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.